Hi, my name is Dr. Heidi Dees. I'm the lead pharmacist for MCT2D, the Michigan Collaborative for Type 2 Diabetes. I'm also a clinical pharmacist at Domino Farms Family Medicine, and I'm also assistant professor at the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy. For Victoza, the pen can be stored at room temperature for up to 30 days. If there is medication left in the pen after that, it must be thrown away. One thing that I want to be sure that you know is that your doctor needs to give you a separate prescription for pen needles and you'll need to replace this pen needle every single day. Hello, and I'd like to give you an overview of the Victoza pen. This pen is a multi-dose pen that is given once a day, so all doses are contained within this one pen. I'd like to move on to giving you an idea of, of the components of the pen. So here we have the injection button, so this is what you'll press when you want to give your dose. Here, this black portion is what you'll actually twist um, when you want to move from that zero to your dose. Next thing I want you to pay attention to is this dosing window. So we're going to talk about that um, a lot moving forward. So that's where that dosing window is. This pen cap you're going to remove. Um, you always want to check anytime before you give your injection that this is a clear uh, fluid solution, um, that there's no particles or there's no discoloration. We are now going to attach the needle. So we will remove this cap and you wanna make sure you have an alcohol swab and you wipe off the rubber stopper of the pen before attaching the needle. We're then gonna remove this foil wrapper um, and that exposes the needle. We wanna ensure that this goes on in a straight fashion and then once you feel it grip, we're gonna screw it on just like a screw. Um, let me take this off because that would be gone. Um, and we'll screw it tight. And once it gets pretty tight, give it one more turn and that way we're gonna prevent any medication from leaking out. From there, um, this outer cap is gonna come off, but I want you to remember that this cap needs to be saved um, for when you're finished with your injection to remove this needle. So we'll take that off. You're gonna now see an inner cap. Uh, it could be clear like this, or a little thinner cap. Um, so you're gonna pull this off and this cap goes in the trash immediately. Um, from there, uh, we are ready to give your injection. We'll talk about that in just a second. So the Victoza pen requires priming the very first time you use the pen. This is different, I'd like to point out, for those of you that take insulin. Um, it only needs to be primed the very first time that you use it, even though you'll be using a new needle for every single injection each day. So in order to prime it, if you look back at the dosing window, we're gonna take this uh, black portion and turn it till we get to this line with uh, two small dashes. Once you're there, you point the pen up so the needle's facing up and you're gonna press. And hopefully what we'll see is that drop of Victoza that comes out. So now we know the pen is properly um, connected to the pen needle and primed and you're ready to give your first dose. Of note, should you not see a drop on the first time that you did it, you can do it up to six times and you wanna be sure that you get that drop of needle before moving on to give yourself an injection. Should you not see any liquid come out the top of the needle, it's time to get a new pen because um, there's something wrong with this brand new pen that you just uh, took out of the refrigerator. That is a very rare thing, but just wanted to point it out. Let's talk about preparing your site for your injection. I recommend to my patients to use the abdominal region for their injections. There are other sites that are available um, for use, but I encourage you to talk to your doctor, your pharmacist, or your nurse for which site is best for you. The reason I like the 
abdominal area is it offers the best site of absorption. So when we're dealing with the abdominal area, if you locate your belly button, you never want to inject within two inches of the belly button. Anywhere away from that is fair game. So what you need to do is in the area that you're going to give your injection, you're going to uh, use an alcohol swab to properly cleanse the area and uh, disinfect. It's very important to let the alcohol dry. This ensures less pain and also proper aseptic technique. You always want to rotate your injection sites. So what I tell my patients is to think of each side of their abdomen as a clock. and. After each injection, whether it is day to day or week to week, you go from side to side, but then when you go back to that side, you pick a different number on the clock. This is to ensure that you never inject at the same point every single time and create scar tissue underneath that injection site. Now the pen is primed and we are ready to dial your dose. So again, touching this black portion here, we are going to twist and now go past those dashed lines to here. Now let's say this is when you were starting the dose um, at 0.6 milligrams. If you had a higher dose, such as 1.2 or 1.8 milligrams, you would continue to twist this black portion until you can see that dose that you're supposed to take in this window. So once your dose is at the proper spot, you are then ready to give your injection. So we are going to pretend that this little belly is your abdominal area. Remember that you've already dried it off with some alcohol and now you're going to um, give your injection as a reminder, not within two inches of your belly button. Um, you do not need to pinch your skin. The needle is very small. Um, so you'll at a 90 degree angle, um, inject and you want to make sure that white portion goes directly to the skin. We are, we are then going to press this white button and it's important as a reminder that that dosing window is facing up so that you're able to see when this moves from your dose. We're going to press it and then it comes down to zero. At that point, so you shouldn't remove it, I just want to um, make sure. So you're going to watch it come to zero. And at that point, you start to count to six. It's after you've counted to six that you withdraw the needle. Now we're going to reach for that outside cap that we talked about. And we're going to put that on top and then twist in the opposite direction. And, yep. And then, of course, we are going to take that needle and put it into your sharps container for proper disposal. At this point, you just want to get your pen cap, put it back over your pen, and leave it out to your next day's injection. Thank you so much, and I hope this helps you take your Victoza pen.